When you work on your Google site, if you want to use pictures, it's important that you use pictures that you've either taken yourself or that you have the right to use. One of the ways that I like to find images that are free to use, share, and modify is to find an image with a Creative Commons license. One of my favorite tools for doing this is using Fodor.com. You go to Fodor.com, it's spelled F-O-T-E-R.com. You can type in what you're looking for into the search bar. Click on Search Photos. And then Fodor allows you to determine whether or not you want a picture for commercial or non-commercial uses. Since I'm not planning to make money off of my image, non-commercial is fine. You can also select images based on relevance, um, how recently they've been uploaded to Fodor, and based on interest. I like this picture of mushroom and butterfly popcorn. So I'm going to select download. You can pick the size that you want, a small or a large size. The really cool thing about Fodor is that Fodor provides an entire photo credit for you. So if you highlight that photo credit and copy it, you can paste it right into your website. To download the image, simply click on download, right mouse click, save image as, and then save it to your desktop or wherever it is that you want to put it. Since I've already saved the image, I'm not going to do that right now. So here's what you would do on your site once you find an image that you want to use. You click on the little edit page pencil. You can paste in the citation, the photo credit for the picture. Notice that it's hyperlinked to the license, which is a Creative Commons attribution share like license. And it's hyperlinked back to Fodor, where the photograph originally came from. And then I can insert the image, which is right here. Change the size of it. I'm going to select medium. I'm going to center it on my page and click Save. Right. So I have here a picture from Fodor.com that is legal for me to use with the full photo credit that hyperlinks back to the license and to Fodor. I've done the same thing here on the left, except this time I inserted the image into a Google drawing. And I'll show you what that looks like. If I actually click on the drawing, here's the drawing. I inserted the image into Google drawing, pasted the photo credit into Google drawings, went up to share and changed it so that anyone with the link could view. And that way, visitors to my site could come to my Google Drawing and click on the hyperlinks for those pictures within Google Drawings. You can also change the background on the canvas if that's something that you want to do. Just right mouse click on the canvas. Right now my canvas isn't really showing. Let's see if I can get to the can background. You can change the background color. If I refresh it, you'll see that the background color has also changed on my site. So that's two different ways to put images onto your site. One is to get an image that's free to, to use, share, and modify, and insert it into a Google drawing with a citation. Or you can just paste the image and then paste the photo credit directly to your site. Um, if you end up making a derivative work of, um, of an image, such as down below I have, added some eyes and I've filtered the picture, you would just need to change the citation a little bit so your photo credit would say something like, this derivative work was created under a Creative Commons license courtesy of, and then Fodor, which hyperlinks back to where the picture came from, and the Creative Commons license. So that's how you do it. If you have any questions, I'll be circulating.